Hi guys, I want to show you how to set up a vanilla Minecraft server from scratch. Um, this is going to be a really easy tutorial. It's not very hard to set up at all. Um, first thing you want to do is open up your web browser and go to minecraft.net. And then you want to look for the download it here button. And what I'll show you how to do is I'll show you how to set up the Minecraft server exe and jar additions. So you want to download both of these. Just click them or right click and then save as and save them to wherever you want. I've already done that. They're on my desktop. So I'll show you how to do the exe real quick because that's going to be the fastest one. So I've just put the Minecraft server exe into a folder and then I'm going to go ahead and just double click on it. And what it's going to do now is it's going to generate a world. While it's doing that I'm going to open up Minecraft and click play. And it looks like the server is done generating the map. So then what it what I can do is go to multiplayer and we'll connect to local host since it's on my local computer. And I'll click join. And there we go. We're on the server and it says that we have joined the game. Now to set up the um, jar file version of Minecraft we need to first place the jar file in a folder where we want to host the server and then we want to create a what's called a bat file and the way we do that is first we right click and go to new text document and I usually just like to name them start server um, but you can name it whatever you want whatever will help you remember and then change the dot txt to dot B A T and hit enter and then you can select yes I want to change it um, and then this is basically going to be the way you start your server you would double click on this um, but we need to put in some code to it first to tell it what to do so we'll edit it in notepad and then if you are on a 32-bit computer what you want to put in is the following. And I'm going to put um, all of this code in the description. That way you guys don't have to copy it um, just by looking here. You can just copy and paste it. So um, this would be for a 32-bit computer. Uh, and if you're not sure if you're 32-bit or 64-bit, you can right-click on my computer, go to Properties, and usually it'll tell you in the system type what kind of um, operating system you have. And I can't remember how you do this on XP. Um, you may just have to look that up if you're not sure. But um, then once you do that, um, you would be good to go. Now I'm on a 64-bit machine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in right after server. I'm going to hit space. And then D. Six, four, like that. And I'll go ahead and save this document. So now what we can do is we can actually double click on this bat file. And you'll get some warnings because it's trying to load like whitelists and server properties. It's going to have to generate them um, first. And then the next time you start up the server, it'll actually find all that because now it's there. So if I reopen Minecraft, and click play and I go to multiplayer I can go to localhost again and I can click join server and there we are we are now in the jar version of the Minecraft server um, and so just one note about the code that we used if you go to start server and you hit edit again, 
this last bit right here um, has to be all one word and it needs to be the name of this file right here. So if you were to upgrade, uh, update to 1.7 then what you would need to do is um, make sure that this line right here is the exact name of whatever the 1.7 jar would be which is probably minecraft underscore server dot 1.7 um, so yeah that's pretty pretty much it that's how you start a uh, vanilla minecraft server if you guys have any questions put them in the comments and take care thanks for watching <laughs>